I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com, and this is my Smart American Accent Training. Welcome to our Word of the Day series, where I've been taking your requests for words which you would like help pronouncing in American English. Today's request was for the word photographer, as well as the word photographic, and we'll look at pronunciation of both of these words, break them down, help you see the differences in the vowel sounds and syllable stress for these words. We also have a video for photo and photograph, and you can find that in the description for this video if you're looking for those words as well. So looking at photographer, part of the issue with this word is that it does contain the word photo, which would make me think about um, pronouncing that word photo. And you need to rethink this word and um, move away from, it doesn't sound like photo in the word photographer because it has second syllable stress. So the ta syllable is gonna have the clear vowel. And in this case, rather than an o, it has the a ah vowel. So starting with ta can help me rethink this word. Then my first syllable, the P-H-O, of course, has the F sound for that P-H, and then the letter O is going to say vowel schwa, or a uh, in this syllable, because it's short and unstressed. And so thinking about it as fata, fata, with that F being quite short and the ta being stretched out, fata. And then I have my um, uh, word that looks like graph, and again, doesn't sound like graph in this word. Rather than an a ah, clear vowel, again, we go back to our schwa, photographer. Um, so I will write it as a gr syllable, and then again, another ph that says the f sound. Finally, ending in my er, which is still my tense sound, but unstressed, so short. Photographer, photographer. Let's try it in a couple of phrases. He's been a photographer his whole life. The photographer came to shoot the uh, shoot photos of the event. Um, I am an amateur photographer. Then when I change to uh, photographic, let's do that. Uh, if we change to photographic and we look at this word instead of to photographer, we change to uh, photographic, then we have the uh, the difference is um, we have additional syllables and we have a changed sound. So bear with me while I work with my new technology here. Um, so we're going to eliminate um, photo so photographic photographer. Uh, let's just start fresh with all of this. Um, and uh, so when I'm saying photographic, uh, I ha again have a different syllable stress. So photographic follows a little bit more closely with my photo and graph. So just like in photographer, I was saying watch out to not say it like photo and graph. In photographic, we do have secondary stress on my first syllable, pho, so I use my clear O. So photo, again another O, gra, graphic, let me redo that, that doesn't look that tidy. So uh, I, you may have noticed I'm using a new digital whiteboard and I apologize for not being completely comfortable with it yet. I'm trying to make it very visually clear, which has always been very important to me in my videos, that you can see what I'm talking about both visually and hear what I'm saying. I think for many people, having that um, new way of visualizing the words is really helpful in understanding what's different about how they sound. So at any rate, photographic has uh, stress on the gra syllable. And in this case, it does sound like the word graph which I'll write this way, um, and that's going to be my long syllable, photographic. But, um, photo, actually I'm incorrect, it is not an O here, it is a schwa, photographic. So my first O has secondary stress, so I do say the O sound in pho, 
photographic. Short, short, long, short, photographic. So that first O says O, the next O says schwa, like a, uh, and then lastly I have my unstressed ick at the end. The photographic quality of the painting was remarkable. Um, we have photographic evidence that that occurred. Um, so you also might have noticed that uh, just like in the word photo, we don't say that with a clear T, photo, that'd be more um, British or other dialects of English. In American English, that T between those two unstressed syllables becomes more of a flap, sounds like a light D, photographic. Okay, thank you so much for those requests for the words photographer and photographic. They'll really help in addition to our word photo and um, photograph, those of you who are looking to talk about this terminology. If you have a word you'd like to have included in our series, do feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos. And um, there's a little bit of a wait time for your words. We've had many, many wonderful requests. I am working my way through all of the words. If you can't wait, you can attend one of our Friday live question and answer classes. Those happen at 12 o'clock on Friday's Seattle time, three o'clock Eastern time. And I answer your questions live regarding pronunciation, intonation, other things you'd like to help you improve your communication in American English. Thanks so much for being a part of the channel, for supporting me, joining, subscribing, and watching this video. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye guys, I'll see you tomorrow.